Hello my friends, I, I would just like to show you a little patch. So I've created a patch with two wave tables. I've created a patch with two filters, a low pass and a high pass. Both are being controlled by envelopes and velocity. And then we've got some nice modulation over here with some nice envelopes that are very well uh, designed. Some nice modulation that's quite sensitively placed on. And so if we listen to it, we can hear that it sounds quite nice. Now, I want to show you just three little things that make it sound nice. One is that it always has a very clean attack, a very clear attack. Listen. It actually sounds like I'm hitting something. And the attack is always there. No matter how quiet you play it. I also like that the, um, it responds so well to velocity that it loses both bottom end and top end and volume and drive filter drive distortion uh, if you play quietly and as you play louder it gains top end bottom end and filter drive and volume and i think that's quite nice lastly i like how there's two kind of tones to it there's the more chaotic kind of a tone there's the more chaotic kind of a tone, and then there is the nice, more tonal round sound underneath. And you can bring them out with velocity. So it's kind of like the louder it is, the more rattly it is, like the strings are really rattling against each other in your uh, stringed harpsichord or your keyboard instrument. So there are the three things I like, the definite attack, So I like the response to velocity and keyboard control. And I also like the two sounds being joined together and following the same kind of a curve. The rattly, more chaotic element and then the more tonal kind of lower harmonic or fundamental of the string itself. Add them all together and you get a nice kind of a sound so that's all i wanted to show you in this video my friends i hope it was some some use to you and i hope you can make some nice keyboard sounds yourself